Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and you see the title? You see the title. We are going to be speaking about the new remix from Glorilla, Megan Thee Stallion, and now featuring Cardi B. So if you're interested in my review for that, pop, female rap, conspiracy theories, trending topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, so <laughs> before I get into my review, I think I did a review on this song already in its entirety. I'm pretty sure when Glorilla dropped it, I really don't remember, child, but... I do remember having an opinion and I do remember saying it and initially when I first heard this song I was just like oh this is fine initially when I heard it I wasn't in love with it but I didn't hate it either I was just like it's decent right but now it's really grown on me like the song outside of Cardi B being on it it's really grown on me and I think it's just from hearing it and I've been to a couple little things and hearing it like in the car speakers really loud and here it's actually really bumps you know now that I've gotten used to it and now that I am you know hearing it around and things like that so now that I actually like like the song a lot more than I did when I first heard it I was like okay so Cardi B has to eat this because if she doesn't she's gonna ruin it right <laughs> So I know you guys are wondering, well, what is your opinion then on Cardi B's verse, okay? I think that Cardi B did a good job. I think she did a great job, okay? I actually really liked the verse. It was cute. I liked it a lot. Like, I could bump to it. I like there was some flow changes and switch-ups throughout. There were some cute little punchlines in there. Like, I really liked it a lot. She actually fit pretty well in with Glow and um, Megan. It didn't seem like her verse was out of place or that it was in there and it didn't really fit in there, you know what I mean? How some people do features or remixes and their verse wasn't needed. Like, it actually flowed pretty good together, in my opinion. And then at the end with the whole... Um, get him see, get him see, get him see, get him see. <laughs> that was actually kind of cute. Like, I didn't mind it at all. I knew that part of the song was going viral at a certain point before the song dropped, and like, people were making fun of how she sounded or saying this part sounded like trash and blah, 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 blah. Um, I ignored that because I was like, I'm just gonna wait until the song comes out to judge it, and I'm not gonna sit up here and prejudge it too hard. Um, so yeah, that part sounded good at the end with her saying, get him see, and then her verse was pretty solid. Now, Will I say, was it like a Tomorrow 2 level verse? No. Tomorrow 2 was really good. Like, there was just something way more infectious to me about Tomorrow 2, personally. Um, her verse there was super, super good. Um, but this verse that she did was not bad. Like, I will, I will play the remix version. Now, the question is, will this remix go anywhere in comparison to, um, you know, the original? So the original, I don't know, I think it debuted at number 12 or 11. I think it was 11 with just Glorilla and Megan Thee Stallion on the chart. So do I think that her contribution to the track will help it rise on the charts? Um, I think it might, to be honest, because I don't think that the... I don't think that her verse was bad, so it might rise. I mean, you guys let me know. Do you feel like it'll impact the song in a positive way, like relevancy-wise? I mean, if more people than just me like the verse and, you know, feel like it's worth streaming the remix version, then yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't rise. Um, so you guys let me know what you think um, the remix is going to do, you know, if it's going to flop, if it's going to, you know, if it's going to do well, like y'all let me know. And I'm going to read a couple of comments that people are saying in regards to this remix. Oh yeah, and I forgot there's some shade um, with Bia. Let me know if you guys want a separate video of that or or what. Like me covering like the shade that I guess Cardi B was throwing at Bia on this track. And Bia apparently responded. So let me know if you want a separate thing from that outside of this review. But people are saying... Don't nobody want to be a is clever as F, not gonna lie. Great value me looking at ho bodied. She essentially called be a Otis. Baby Cardi does no wrong in my eyes. Cardi certified fire. Don't nobody want to be a come on Cardi ate with that bar. I'm sorry, but Bia has no talent. 
I've said it a million times. I'm going to say it again. Barty is a future queen. One thing she always do is devour anybody on their own song. Eat them alive. They can never make me hate Barty. Big Barty, it's real. It's a real itch party. Um, I will say Cardi has done good features, but like Tomorrow 2 was good. This was good. Um, she's done the Never Lose Me remix. I didn't like that one. Um, I think she did a feature on this one particular, uh, drill record that I didn't really care for. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say for me personally that she bodies every feature, but she has had good ones. Uh, let's see. Bia, you tried it. She ate your ass up. Stop playing with my girl. For real, Big Cardi, not the little one. It's really Nikki's real girlies versus Meg Cardi's. But the ones who Nikki has are weak. Bia, Ice, Sexy, JT, Akbar. On the other side is Meg, Cardi, Lotto, Glow, Monaleo, My The Dawn, Flo, Millie, etc. Oh, dang. <laughs> but see how they do? They section off everybody. Look. <laughs> they will never make me hate Cardi. Now add Lotto and let her cook. Cardi giving looking boy vibes and I'm here for it. Bia writes her raps. That's all we're going to say. Y'all missing the guest I'm a teacher since you want to sub me because she ate. Love them both, but Bia started it, which is whack. Go, Barty. Y'all not even digging. She rapped in Bia whole flow and then said nobody want to Bia. And I like Bia, but shit, I'm a mind my business here. Cardi not effing around. If I was Bia, I'd definitely respond LMAO. Cardi gives people plenty of ammo. I've never heard of these shots Bia threw at Cardi. I hate when the industry creates these fake beefs, but Cardi ate this though. Okay, you guys, so those are some comments. Those are some comments. What do you guys think? I've seen a various of opinions, to be honest. I see a lot of people saying that they like the verse, and I see some people saying that Cardi B was coming at Bia. Like, why is she coming at Bia? She needs to be coming at, like, a bigger artist. Like, Bia is irrelevant, like, things like that. I've seen that going around. Um, <clears throat> I have seen some people saying they didn't like the verse, but more people saying they did. She did good. She did better to me, uh, verse wise on this song than she did on her own songs. Like, um, Enough Miami and like what? Like those songs comparison to this one verse, this one verse is better than both of those songs. So it's better than Puntaria. It's, be it's better than all the stuff that she's just recently put out. So whatever she was doing with this is the same energy that she kind of needs to keep going forward with her other releases. But my opinion is one opinion. So you guys let me know how you guys feel. Maybe you guys love it. Maybe you guys hate it. Let me know down below and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.